You awake in a dark room. Welcome back, guys. We're gonna do a new kind of game right here. This is one of my favorite indie games. It's called Cave Story. I've got the Plus Edition. And this is one of the Metroidvania games that are out there. Um, probably one of my favorite indie games of all time, to be honest. It's pretty difficult when you get towards the end, and 100% completion, while possible, is still very difficult. So, first off, we'll save. And we just woke up in this cave. No idea where we are. And there's some monsters over there. Plus some walls that we can't get past. So, let's go the other way. Ooh, almost fell in the spikes. And right there, oh, damn it, is our first power-up. Life capsule. Max life increased by three. Good. That way I don't have to worry about bumping into more bats. Ah, there we go. And, of course, there's air tank in this game. If you lose your air tank, well, that's it. This is the monkey guy. Let's steal from him. It's the Polar Star. It's uh, the first weapon you get in the game. It's a pistol. Oh, one Sue found. Sue! Sue! Well, he's a lonely guy. Is he gonna wake up? No. How about if we shoot him? No. Okay. Well, in this game, the weapon system is pretty simple. You kill enemies, you get these little triangle points, and they'll upgrade your weapon when you get high enough. And those upgrade points to get the next level, it's different for each weapon. There are some weapons that it only takes even one to get up a level. In this case, we want to get up to at least level 2 before we get on with this. And, of course, damage also lowers your upgrade points, so we don't want to take any more of that. There we go, and we're level 2. We'll just refill our life and save again. Probably was better in the other order. Oh, fell down. There we go. And now we'll have more upgrade points, just in case we get hurt. Now you see that Dorothy eye? Don't want to go on there. It will slam down on you. Of course that's... Not something that you want to happen, and it re actually reminds me of this uh, one enemy in Zelda, the Ocarina of Time. There's this one door that actually just slams down on you, and that's annoying, so destroy them before they can destroy you kind of thing, right? Oh, we're in the bunny village. These bunnies are called Miga... Mimiga? Uh, man. Oh! <sighs> Damn it, I fell down. Of course I wasn't controlling him, so... No, I'm not an enemy. King, number one. Hmm, I wonder why. It couldn't be because your name's King, is it? A village of seven people. Hmm. Well, let's start exploring this village. The reservoir. Obviously, it has a lot of water. So let's go this way. And here we've got a fisher guy. Okay. Oh, she fell into the reservoir. So that must mean... This sparkly thing. Ah, must belong to Sue. Let's go return it, maybe. That fish guy, I think he's the only kind of his in, in the game... Just like the door, actually. So. 
Don't need to worry about those guys. They're not bosses or anything, though, so... Man, that girl's got a mean sprint. Don't underestimate me. You're lying on the ground. You've given up. Let's save here. Uh, these doors, you can see the save point above them. And if you don't know what the floppy disk is, I feel sorry for you. So very, very sorry. So, let's go find Sue. She went down this way. Oh. No, we're not going to hurt you. The doctor. Ooh -ee -ee. Not that doctor, though, so... If we were actually fighting the doctor, then we wouldn't stand a chance. Instead, we fight the Kool-Aid Man. Clever Harrier. And Witch Lady. Oh, they're with the doctor. They're the doctor's companions, you might say. And no, I'm never going to get tired of that. Oh, and this guy's called Balrog, too. So we're Gandalf now? Hmm. Yeah. It's a little upgraded, Peace Shooter. So... There we go. That's the first boss battle. It's a lot harder with the level 1 Polar Star. And it would be a lot easier if we had level 3, but I don't want to spend 20 minutes getting upgrade points again. So... Because the only point you can get the upgrade tokens is the first cave before you start fighting Balrog. So... Oh. Apparently he doesn't like Sue, and he also likes girls. Not sure I like you as a person. And now, we've got the map. It's just right up there. It's not hard to find. Just have to look around a bit. In case you can't tell, I've already played this game. Beaten it, too. Even the 100% completion. Which, if we ever get to it, will be freaking hard. Like, don't even. Arthur's house key. So, that's... Okay, so we're gonna find Sue in Arthur's house, I think. Wait. Are you... Are you just... Are you just holding your finger in the shape of a gun? You are! Oh my goodness. I like your hat, though. Nice Soviet thing going on there. So, there's Arthur's grave. We have to just get up there. Get past all these, uh... I think they're called ming -Nan. I'm not sure, actually. Oh! <sighs> We can try getting up at the door, but I know we can't get in. Oh, screw you. I know we can't get in there, so... We won't try too hard. See? You need a double jump or something to get through that. And there's Arthur's grave. And now if you look really carefully, you'll find something that might come in handy later. Now... You see that little guy right next to me? Right next to me? Let's just talk to him. Well, he doesn't help us now, but trust me, there'll come a time later in the game when he does. Okay. You want to make sure you save often, just because, well, just because. I mean, if you lose power or something, then... Well, hmm. Guess we'll have to go inside Arthur's house now. 
and finds you, I think. Maybe? Let's take a look around. Water. Flowers. Hmm. How about these beds? Well, we spent a little rest, and she's nowhere to be found, so... Oh, it's that Cosmo character. Teleportation to Egg Corridor. Hmm. Maybe he's there. Let's go to the Egg Corridor. Oh. Well, this is pretty different here. And wait. Wait, is that an egg? Is that an egg? That's an egg. Wow. Okay. Wonder what it's an egg of. And like that guy said up there, don't touch that thing. That thing is real bad. It will kill you instantly. So just don't. And we're almost at level 3. There we go. Polar Star level 3. Look at that. Kill these things in one shot. This is going to be awesome now. Just breeze through all these enemies. And this is a bit like uh, Zelda where you get max rupees and you still want to collect all of them. Oh well. I mean, it's just something that happens. These elephants, they're really difficult with level 1. Oh, that must be Sue. Wow. One punch. One, two punches. Three punches and you're out. Oh, now that bunny thing, huh, I hope we don't have to fight it, of course, probably do have to fight it, so we'll just have to get prepared, let's, oh, there's a save point here, to lose a bold. That guy Cthulhu? Yes, I am. Well, yeah, I've lost my memory. I mean, I don't remember anything about uh, ha what happened before the start of the game. And there's our next life capsule. That one's a bit harder to get, but if you can, then on the first try like I did, then more power to you. I'm actually surprised I got it on the first try. It's actually just so difficult to get it. Okay. Uh, that's not go. Oh! Boy, that almost killed me. Can I get past this? Oh, yep, yeah, just barely. Okay. What's in there? Hey, we just went inside an egg. That's nice. An ID card. Well, obviously we'll need it up ahead. And let's just kill these bug things. Let's try and zoom past this area. Hopefully without getting too much damage dealt. Oh. Okay, you want to be careful of those things. Those things actually fire projectiles if they live for long enough. There's a shield. Okay. Let's take a look. Oh. 
Egg status abnormal. Well, we already went to that one. Egg number one. Okay. Ah, darn it. That elevator's the only way out, so we'll just have to wait for it. And we'll try and get that chest up there. It should be something pretty good. Missile launcher. Yes. Nice. It has limited ammo. Okay. And, of course, this weapon. Oh. How do I change? There we go. Press A and S on this. Yeah, so the bar is also empty. Every weapon has its individual upgrade bar. So, oh. And let's see if we can upgrade the missile launcher on the way. Actually, maybe we'll kill these things again. Oh, and get that thing too. See what I meant when I said that it could shoot projectiles? Just be careful with that thing. Yeah, it's hard to upgrade something that you don't want to use the ammo of, so... There we go, level two. Oh, crap. Die. There we go. This is going pretty well. Uh, no, it's not. There we go. Okay, let's get to that egg here. Bit of a missile, and there's where we insert the IT card. Shield removed, as you can as you will be able to see. There you go. There we go, level 3 missile launcher. Oh, crap! Now it's not level 3. Now it is again. So let's keep it that way. Very important. Crap. Get out of here. Seat missiles are pretty powerful. Of course, the Polar Star doesn't use any ammo, so... Oh. Free season. There we go. When he got his back turned, you can just shoot at him all, his, all you want. Especially if he's firing those uh, projectiles. This is Igor. Oh no, did I kill him? I killed the poor, poor defenseless bunny rabbit. Oh. Ache number zero. What well, are in these eggs anyway? Like, we saw what were in two of them because they were actually rooms, but. Yes, I did. Wait a moment. How did that big guy get past the shield? Especially with Sue. Hmm. Egg number zero. Okay. Password to hatch the egg. Okay. I think I know where your big brother is, though. But I can't talk, so... Letters on my cap? Where? There's letters? Well, I suppose I can help you. K. 
Okay, let's just save before we head back. And with that, I think we'll just come back here next time. Stay tuned for that, and we'll go save her brother, I guess.